Well, let's talk to one of those Conservative MPs, shall we? Uh, we're joined now by the Deputy Chair of the Conservative Party, James Daly. What was your reaction? Was it a shrug or were you a bit worried? Well, I was really sad today. He's a friend of mine. Um, I've known him for a long time. We've been through a lot together. Um, and when you lose a friend in any circumstance... <laughs> I hope he's still my friend. He's still alive, by the way, I don't hope, worry. I hope he's still my friend. <laughs> in Parliament. I hope he's still my friend at, at that point. Um, I haven't spoken to him since this happened, but when you've shared a lot, when you've uh, laughed a lot, when you've done lot, lots of things together, he came up to my constituency, did two great events supporting me. I played very badly in his charity cricket match. <laughs> You know, mm. it's, these are relationships that go beyond just turning up and coming to, you know, being in London and having the odd chat with each other. You, you so, sound quite sad. I am sad because, mm. I, as I said, genuinely so. If I, yeah. I, I consider him a friend. I hope he considers me a friend. And we, you know, the last conversation, well, I won't say the last conversation, mm. but it was talking again about me coming down the summer to play, again, very badly in his charity cricket Are you still going to do, by the way? Now he's well, I don't, to well, I don't, what do you reckon? <laughs> I don't think so. Perhaps the invitation's not there, but I, I'm just very sad. I, I, when I listened to Lee today, um, I was just thinking to myself, what is it? that has changed, what is it that's different? He was saying all these things and, you know, a lot of colleagues in, you know, we, we may disagree on certain things, certain incidents or certain things that happen, but that's no different to what Lee's been saying for, for four years. So, w was it right the party suspended him then? Because he was suspended, wasn't he, well, for his comments thing... about the Mayor of London? But again, this is the thing that Lee said himself, that it was right that the Chief Whip took the whip away from him. He said it, not me. Um, and so... If there was a sort of acceptance that... I think Lee has used the phrase, forgive me if I'm wrong, that he's, his language... I think he may use clumsy yeah, words clumsy, or words, words regarding his words, and has given an explanation yeah. in terms of what he meant. But, again, I mean, I was on a programme earlier on with Richard Tice, and it touches on the point about what Beth is talking about. But Richard Tice was asked about the words that led to the suspension. He seemed to be agreeing that those were unacceptable words. But, there, but this, what I genuinely feel this is about is what Beth has just said, in that Ben Habib and other leading figures have said this is about destroying the Conservative Party. Mm. And so what surprised me most of all, and saddens me most of all, is that Lee has said previously that a vote for reform is a vote for Keir Starmer. And Lee and others, perhaps in reform, are quite happy to have five years of socialism, which I will fight with every bone in my body, whether I've got 105 majority or not. And that's what I don't... But that's what I don't understand. You know, when we talk about majorities, I know it is important that you talk about the national swings of the mood music and the decision the government are making, but there are some MPs, and I trust me that you and your voters talk about this, who are here because they believe in what the, their party stands for and want to take on Labour, which Lee doesn't, apparently. But it's interesting, isn't it, though, because, you know, you, you talk very fondly of him. Yeah. You've obviously had shared experiences. You're both in kind of red wall seats, if yeah. I can put it like that. He's saying, I know from my mailbag how many people in this country support Reform UK and what they have to say. And, you know, that is reflected in some of the polling, What's you know, double-digit leads, double-digit polling for reform. Do you understand some of the reasons that Lee... I don't, I don't Lee, think that's... I don't it, think, it, it, sorry, I'm uh, sorry to interrupt. Forgive it, me. It, do you understand some of the reasons that Lee Anderson feels his voters and himself are attracted by what reform is saying? Well, people will be attracted by different messages, but what I don't quite understand is if that's the height of what Lee's saying, that people like reform. Well, people like all sorts of different parties, you know, go, go and join whoever you want in respect. If you, if you are swayed by what your, your post bag says and that's, what, that's what's yeah. going to influence the choices you make and the decisions you make, I think that Lee, I mean, I, I may be wrong with it, but Lee used to tell me very, quite, and he used to be proud of this, the amount of money that the Conservative government has invested in Ashfield, whether that's new schools and the other infrastructure, mm. that's down to a Conservative government changing people's lives in Ashfield, you know, creating more job opportunities over 14 years. That seems to be ignored on the basis of what you've just told me, that people are writing into him and saying that they back reform. And seemingly, he can... I don't know what it is. Is he, is he saying he wants the freedom of speech to say things that he's already been saying in the Conservative Party? I don't quite understand it. But that might be just a friend talking more than anything else, because I think he's a talented guy. He's brought money into okay. into Ashfield. I think he's a good constituency MP. But for him to effectively campaign on behalf of Keir Starmer by joining the Reform Party, that's not really I know. It's probably not how he would see it. Uh, thank you very much indeed, uh, James Daly. There, thank, thank you very much.